You tell me how this makes sense. This is the key for an I8, okay? And this is a key for 750. Isn't the I8 key supposed to be fancier than the 750? I don't, I don't get it, but it's all good. I don't listen to the radio. I don't listen to the radio. So right now you wouldn't. So that means that your your musical experience on what the hits are still go back to. Well, I'm listening to Foreigner right now. <laughs> I'm, you know, I'm listening to Kenny G. So whatever was to me, Kenny in G is, is what's still on your mind. Right. Today. Snoop, beautiful. <laughs> is that O three? <laughs> I want you to know. That was a while ago. Back. Right? Yeah. I would say, uh, Borequa. Remember that one song? Borequa, Morena. Okay. It's seeing you. Everything good? Very good scene. Yeah, so you're doing the event planning thing right now. Yeah. Right? Okay. So, so walk me through who's your customer and walk me through how you're finding your customer. I'm, I'm real big into marketing and uh, I've got tons of great sponsors. Uh, sky's the limit. Um, and I'll take this, uh, I, wanna, I wanna do this in every state, all 50 states. Uh, what else makes Call of Duty exciting? Think about it. The interaction. The interaction. Is there a competition with another person? Is there an enemy? Is there a leader's bulletin? A leader's bulletin makes a world of difference for any business. A leader's bulletin. If you spend yourself late at night, you grab a paper and pen and ask yourself, how the hell can I add a leader's bulletin to this game? How? Then, if there's a leader's bulletin, put your records on your website and let me want to come and break the record and give me a prize for breaking the record. So I would create a leader's bulletin around it and then recognize me. Recognize me. Make a video out of it and give me some kind of a trophy and then create competition and put it on your site. Now I'm sharing the link and I'm saying, guys, I'm the champion of 2017. Okay. So now I'm telling my friends and I'm like, dude, I'm, I, I kick your butt. Why don't you come and compete? I'm number one. See what happens there? Yeah. Now there's a conversation there. And then you up your ante. Wow. So now cash prices goes from three people winning cash prices. Now you go 10. Now you go 25. Now you go 50. Now you go 100. Now you got 10,000. Now you got 17 events around the nation. Now you're doing 20 million a year. So I don't get excited about quarter million. I get excited about 20 million a year, 30 million a year, 100 million a year. Now you can scale it. Now all of a sudden, watch what happens here. Watch what happens here. Now all of a sudden, you go to and then tell them the audience. Sell who the audience is. You want millennials? You want Gen Xs? This is the audience. Here's my demographic. Here's who competes. And I want to do the first one. I'm debating whether I want to do it or if I want to do it or if I want to do it. Let them bid. And if you have credibility to show you've done this, what if you get camera coming up? And what if that turns into a business? What if an investor comes and says, look, Colton, I'll give you a million bucks. I'll give you half a million bucks for this idea. Let's scale it. Now you've got some exciting things going on. That's what I really want to do. You know, I, 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 you know like you said, I really don't care about 250000 or 500000 I want to turn this into a multi-million dollar. Well, thing. then you've got to think like the way I just shared it with you. Because if you just think about it as, I just want to have fun. I want to put smile on people's faces. That's great. Then you're going to have a guy like your other guy who's competing with you come and do the same exact thing. I'm an investor. You're presenting this to me. You got to get as many stats as possible. Then I'm going to break down that market. And you go to companies and they partner up with you. Then I want a part of the product placement. Then I want a part of the sales. Then I want percentage. Then I want equity. Then there's all those things that comes in place afterwards. Colton, we like you. We like we like where you we like where you come from. We like the fact that, you know, we're locally looking for a lot of strong talent right now ourselves. We want a lot of talent right now. So anybody you know, anybody you think of, put them through for interviews. We're constantly looking. Yeah. Let's do this. Oh, I love that. I love the license plate. Thank Buddy, you. go Thank kill you. it.
um, the date. So you're okay with the flexibility of the date. We don't even have an option, what do you need to right? Because right? May 3rd, we don't forget. I just think, you know, we're out of space. And we have to be ready ahead of our growth. We gotta be ready for value team up, we have to be ready for EU, and we gotta be ready for PHP. Gotcha. So there's a couple things to look at. Let's look at it. Did you see it already? Uh, yeah, you should see it. How'd you like it? Uh, I liked it a lot. Can we see it right now? Uh, we, yeah, he is, uh, he's going to meet us at 3 o'clock in the morning. Okay. Unless I text him and say no, but I thought you'd want to go. Can he do it right now? Why not? I'm just being polite to the realtor. I, I, I don't want to be polite. I know I how to get in it. It's Can we, Okay, now let's go. Let's, let's take go right now. something here from Michael Moranto for Mardi Gras. All right. Let's see what he got us here, man. Let's see what this is, Arash. Is this a... Let's see what it is. Ah, uh, you are slick. This guy's got such good memory. You are so good, Arash. He had this tie on at the Crescent. I told him I liked the tie. He gave me the tie he had on, and he sends me a tie. The rest of the confetti is for Paula Scarcia. <laughs> It's Paul, I, Paul, I explain with all this stuff. So, thank you, Arash. Thank you, Michael Moranto. So these are Mario. These are by far my favorite snaps because it tells you how people view entrepreneurs around the world. Look at this. Hey, what's up, Mr. PBD? So my friends had a notion that pretty much you had to be a jerk and you had to be heartless to get rich. But as the day went on, I was thinking about the subject, and you came up in my mind and you do so much and that pretty much disproved that theory. And I just want to go ahead and thank you for all the content you put up. I really enjoy it and I feel like it's making me a better entrepreneur and you give me hope for one day that I could keep, you know, and that I could keep my personality and who I am and I could be successful in what I want to do. And I want to thank you once again. Thank you very much. Isn't that amazing? Here's Chris, right? Chris Origel. I guess it's original, but it says Origel. Isn't it amazing how uh, everyone, and there's a, this stereotype that you think for, for in order for entrepreneurs to make it, you gotta be a jerk or something like that. And you got a cat here who's having this debate with his friends. I love those videos. Yeah, I love those messages. Like, for, Patrick isn't just like every other YouTuber out there, that's all he does is create blogs and content. What he does is he actually runs a company, he's full time CEO here. Mm -hmm. So, the production team here meeting. Uh, I'm counting on where we're at with subscribership. I sure do. Pat, how are you doing, buddy? Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. Nice follows a brand, personal trainer, and I believe he brought something uh, for you. And uh, oh, you got an Arnold, the education of a bodybuilder. Yep. I have his encyclopedia. I thought about that one, but I figured you did. Yeah, I have his encyclopedia. This is great, man. Yeah, I grew up just following and studying everything with this guy. Same here. Kind of lives in Dallas. Really? Yeah. Yeah, he has by far probably the best workout routines. Uh, did you also study Bill Phillips or no? Mm -hmm. Bill Phillips um, used to be the owner Body of- Body for Life. Yeah, Body for Life. Bill Phillips was the owner of Muscle Media 2000 magazine in the 90s. 
by far the best magazine for bodybuilders. Because you know a lot of people think about Flex. Flex mm -hmm. is good for pictures and you see your, you know all that, but you want workout routines. And then you have Muscle Magazine that used to be very big in the 90s. And then you have Muscle and Fitness that's not for bodybuilders, it's more for you know, men's fitness and that stuff. But Muscle Media was priceless. So Bill Phillips wrote a book. What was the book called, uh, Matt? Was it Body for Life? Body for Life. It's a must read. Mm -hmm. He gets into everything. He talks about steroids, he talks about growth hormone, he talks about the mistakes he made, he talks about his routine, he talks about health. It's a must read. I know you get a phone call. He's, he's got the shoulders, man. This guy's got the body well, Yeah, I mean, it's, that's what I've done in the past. I mean, that's what attracted me to you was the, the bodybuilding background, the valleys background, right. the personal training background. I mean, ultimately, I want to get to where you are. That's what attracted me because I had so much in common with you to where a lot of guys in the, the fitness industry or personal training industry, they, they only go so far. But, I mean, you've done so much. That's what, that's what attracted me to you. So use bodybuilding as a tool, but become an entrepreneur. Yep. There's, no, there's nothing in bodybuilding. Right. The only person that makes money in bodybuilding is number one. Right. And those who go into wrestling. No one else makes money in bodybuilding. Just remember that, it's a rough life. Yeah. <laughs> it's not a sexy life. Yep. If you're gonna really do bodybuilding and inject all that stuff in your body, which is a price for it, if you're gonna do it, there better be a return for it. You gotta go into Hollywood, you gotta go into Venice, you don't belong in Dallas, because over there at least they're gonna pick you up for movies and some other things, if you want to do that life. If you do, uh, you gotta know what the price is gonna be for. Right. But if you go on Olympia type, only one person makes money. Right. And you know who that is. Yep. Right now you know who he is. Yep. The second place guy's broke. Yep. Yep. The only sport where only one person makes money. It's pathetic, but Weider didn't set it up in a way where everybody makes money. Yeah. They'll give you free supplements and all this other stuff, but you need more than that. Absolutely. Does that make sense? So yeah. get this thing sharper. I had, I used to be sharp here. Yeah. Makes sense? Yeah. This doesn't do anything. I want to get this sharper. Well, that, that's exactly, that's kind of what led me to be focusing on entrepreneurship because... She know, Matt, can I call you guys like in three minutes? I hate to do this to you. Okay, I'll call you guys in three minutes. I'm so sorry, guys. Oh, not at all. No, if you don't mind, I don't mind. I just don't want to have you guys hold in. I, 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 yeah, it's all good. Okay, all good. Man and Sheena Sopala, these guys are uh, uh, out of uh, Oak Brook, Chicago. They started working with us 24 months ago. I think their first 12 months, they made 208. The last 12 months, they made $750,000. Former Marine, nurse. Anyways, but you were going back to the bottom of the yeah. You want to be an entrepreneur. Right, I mean, that's... I've experimented, I've run my own personal training business, um, but in the past, my passion was bodybuilding, but like he said, it's only one person makes money, and that's actually why I came to you, because I'm so torn, because I, my identity is with bodybuilding, but I don't see a future with it. And, that, and that's where I'm, I'm hung up. I mean, I don't, I don't know how to take the entrepreneurship on the well, bodybuilding aspect. Let me show it to you. Let me show it to you. If I'm in this world, can I get a marker, Mario? If I'm going into bodybuilding. Okay. okay, these are really your choices. One is to be the actual bodybuilder, where only 0.00001% makes millions. Only, okay? Nobody else. Nasser al Sombati died. Sean Ray was a good business guy. Shorter guys, they live longer. You're taller, you're like 5'11", I thought you six one. Foot. Yeah, so 5'4 guys live a long life. So Sean Ray doesn't need to be 295 pounds off season or 350. Nowadays guys are 350 off season. It's not good for your heart, right. it's terrible. But your Sean Ray goes to 260, 230, it's fine. His knees can't handle it, his back can't handle it. You're too tall for that. So uh, uh, bodybuilding, if you're gonna go this route, and you really want to be Mr. O, and that's your dream, don't let me stop you. Don't let me stop you if you want to go this route. Today, Ronnie Coleman has back surgery, knee surgery. He's down the street here. You know Ronnie O is a local guy. He doesn't have the life that you want to have as a bodybuilder. He says, I would have done it again. I deadlifted 800, all this stuff he talks about. He's done. There's one trend with every single Mr. O. Follows a divorce immediately when they're done follows a divorce because of routine with sex and all this other stuff and the girls and so personal life side it's not the craziest thing to do that's one but if it's a dream you got to pursue it if your dream is that guy you got to pursue it don't let anybody stop you from doing it if you're set on it don't let me confuse you I'm just giving you options 
The other one is opening up a gym, which I don't recommend. It's, it's not a lot of money in the gym side. And I don't think you need to do that part to make the real money today. I really don't think there's money in that thing. I mean, it's to compete, you need $40 a month membership. You need 1,000 members, which is not easy to do, to make 40K a month. This doesn't include your employees, your staff, sales staff, products, insurance, uh, release to the office. You can end up keeping 10K a month. It's the hardest 10 grand you'll ever make in your life. I don't recommend that. Personal training, author, all that stuff, cool. You'll make 100 bucks an hour if you want to be like a Charles Glass, where you're like a celebrity personal trainer, but you don't work 40 hours a week. You train 20 hours a week, so you're only making 8K a month. You're gonna be a millionaire this way. The way I would do it today is be an online personality. That's what I would do bodybuilding today. I would do Instagram, heavy. I would do Snap, heavy. I would do YouTube, heavy. And I would do uh, uh, private videos that you're making that covers X, Y, Z. So I'd put 10 videos out and I'd sell the videos for 99 bucks or 80 bucks or 40 bucks or 39 bucks or monthly membership, like a 1999 membership to be a part of your mentorship class that you're doing and then bring different bodybuilders, let them be the product you highlight. So you bring them, but you don't put that sacrifice as here. You be the business guys. However, the way for this to work, all year long you gotta have a six pack. You can't be eating pizza, you gotta keep your body tight, you gotta be looking good, you gotta be looking attractive, you gotta be looking sexy, you gotta have style, you gotta have all that stuff so your Instagram followership goes to a million, 200,000, your YouTube goes to a couple hundred thousand subs, there's a lot of opportunity here with this, you collaborate. I'm suggesting this route, and then from here you can use the money to invest into real estate, other businesses, other ventures, team up for a nutritional product, have do some sponsorship, do all that other stuff. This allows you to make millions because there's no limit here. All these other are limited. So you, you pick and choose which one you want to do, but if you were my son or if you were my brother, I would present this to you and I would tell you, you want to live a happy 60 years, 80 years, 90 years, or is it that important for you to do this? If you tell me your ultimate dream 24 seven is to be Mr. Owen eight times, so you be Dorian Yates or whoever it is you want to be, Jay Cutler or Mr. O, do it. It's a different Mr. Olympia today than when Arnold won in the 60s and the 70s. Completely different. That back then, the stomach was 30 inches, 32, right? And everybody's bloated. I don't want to look like some of these guys. You want to look like Frank Zane. You want to look like Colombo. You want to look like Serge Nubre. You know, right. you want to look like these guys. Right. But it's become ugly. Right. So, you know, and I know, believe me, I. Everything I just told you, I processed so deeply about me wanting to be a bodybuilder that I said, no, I'm not doing this. You just explained everything that I was had in my head for the last 10 years. Everything you just explained there is exactly what my problem has been. I wanted to be Mr. O, but everything you just explained is what I came to a realization. Then I went the gym route, and just like you said, I mean, you just explained everything. I partied with these guys in LA. I yeah. partied with Cormier, Aaron Baker, Prince, I know a lot of their stories. It's yeah. it's not a. Uh, I only asked for ten minutes. So yeah, I know. I got called, but, but I'll, I'll it's in where he's at. I like that. Uh, but hopefully this helps you out. Absolutely. Think about this. Can so. you appreciate sure. both of you? Sure. Then sure. Let's do. Absolutely. Appreciate you so much. Got it, buddy. One, two, three. Right. Thank you. Thank you, Patrick. I appreciate it. Very so good much. to meet you.